So this is a really quick follow up for the whole Vanguard Spring Fest location debacle we just had. Now I will say I stand behind my video from earlier. 100%. The way the schedule is right now is in my opinion awful. But with that being said, we did have some time now to discuss, right? We had a lot of comments from people that was really interesting to talk about, also on Facebook and so forth. And so I figured we'd now talk about solutions. Now, I'm not Bushiroad, obviously. And I do want to make it very clear that I do not want you to grab this video and like bombast it to Bushiroad. <laughs> like that isn't the goal, right? There are still just people behind the company. I saw some people on Twitter going like add Bushy Matt or something like that. And that isn't the goal. Like I assume by now they watch the different five channel and the Solemn Vanguard channel and Vanguard Insider and some of the other amazing creators that have been getting their, their boxes in from them. TIE Fighter, Outer Orange, Top Deck Heroes, you know, plenty of awesome creators. I'm assuming they watch them. So we don't need to have like some kind of riot or anything like that. But I did want to voice actually like proper solutions, right? I spoke to Chris earlier and I think I think one really important conclusion we came to was that it's not just like, hey, V should be on this day and D should be on this day and premium should be on this day and Y should be on this day. The problem is that that is a solution that you're pasting onto the entire globe when different countries are different. And so it makes no sense that all of these American Spring Fests and European Spring Fests are all completely the same either. All of these communities have grown over the years in very different ways. And so what makes way more sense is to also then grab those preferences and make your tournament schedule fit those. Let me give you an example. I will say I don't know what American preferences are. I've only attended one American BCS so far. So I don't know. For, for America, you know, people can give their input and so forth. But for Europe, I have been to almost every country when it comes to Vanguard. I've been to Italy twice. I've been to France a billion times. I've been to the UK a billion times. I've been in Germany a billion times. I've been in Belgium, obviously. I've been in the Netherlands. So I have a pretty good pulse on what communities in each country tends to prefer. Now, of course, that is on average. It's not everyone. So if I say, oh, this country seems to really like X, it doesn't mean everyone in that country likes X. But I do think the general guideline is really, really valuable. So to give an example, and we also had this comment in the YouTube section, Someone from Spain said, in Spain, I'm actually really happy that D and V are separate because we don't play premium that much. And that's actually true. The same could be said for Portugal. And again, there's premium players in both countries for sure. But when I see how those communities are and what I'm often seeing on deck profiles and videos that I do, for example, if I make a premium specific video, I will get less people from X country than on a D video and vice versa. I have that access. I have that data. So it actually makes a lot of sense that for Spain, for example, D and V are separate. That actually makes sense. But now when I look at, for example, France, that no longer makes sense at all. France has some of the strongest, most vocal and, and excited premium communities in all of Europe. So when premium is then together with standard in that country, I'm like, huh? That makes no sense. But again, when you have a solution where your schedule is just the same across the globe, that's the issue that you're going to run into. I would give some more examples. When you think of Ys, I've been to a lot of BCSs always for Vanguard, but then you of course also see the Ys attendance. And so very often a BCS for Ys might have 25 people or something like that. Not everywhere, but you know, 25, not that big. But then I was in Germany and a Ys BCS there at 100 people. So maybe in for example, Germany, you really want your Ys together with one of the smaller formats. So you want V or premium together with Ys, knowing that Germany might have solid Ys turnout. However, if you then look at the UK, where a lot of people do really like premium, it again doesn't really make sense that premium is forced together with D. Then we have Belgium. Belgium is a bit of a weird one because the venue is actually way too fucking small. <laughs> That's an issue we also had, I want to say two years ago or three years ago when we had Springfest Antwerp, you're forced into a, a relatively small venue. And so so you kind of need to like consider what the options there are. But I just think it's very important to realize that 
if you're forcing your formats to be just blanket everywhere, you're going to have a much less ideal solution than if they are, you know, different in different places. You're also making less expectations for people so they might travel. So to give a really good example, let's say Springfest Antwerp is the first Springfest in Europe. And let's say you have premium on Saturday together with standard. That forces a bad premium turnout just by default. Just because of that schedule, premium is not gonna have a good turnout that day. Now I'd love to be wrong and I'm gonna go there for premium. I know some other people who are going for premium, but just by the way that is designed, it's not gonna turn out super well. If that then starts trickling fear into people going, oh no, and it's on it's, um, Saturday in that and that country as well, maybe I shouldn't travel, blah, blah, blah. That kind of fear and doubt makes it so some people might not even want to travel. However, if you have different setups for different countries, you eradicate that fear. You might have someone going, oh, in Antwerp it wasn't so great, but here in France it's actually on Sunday together with Wise here the turnout is gonna be much better because they realize in France premium has more loss than in this other country. Now, finally, another thing that I saw brought up, and that is the lack of remote. Obviously, I understand, you know, your event staff, I don't know how big it is, but maybe they were trying to focus on actual in real life Springfest, and then they couldn't really think of online as well. But I did notice quite some people asking like, hey, you know, Springfest is great and all, but I still really want that remote, whether they're unable to travel, or they're still afraid of COVID, maybe they're immunocompromised, or maybe they have some kind of disability, you know, physical or otherwise that, that makes them unable to travel. That also is a real thing. And so not instantly having clarification on online events is maybe something that could be cool to have so that we know, okay, maybe April till June is real life Springfest, super hype, but then in July and August, there might be something else. We might have our Springfest online again. This would also bridge the gap between Springfest and BCS season. So this way, there's always a way to enjoy competitive Vanguard, which is something we actually didn't have before. So this would be an improvement on the old system. And this way you also fix the location issue even more. Because again, when you have three formats, there will never be a proper solution for everyone. That is already accepted the moment you have three formats and only two days, three and two are not the same number, they don't go together, they never will be. So as long as you try to push three formats into two days, you're always gonna have some problems. But by at least making it depend on the location so you know what people prefer, and then also having the online event so that if people are unable to travel or if people didn't get the format exactly the way they wanted in their specific country, at least the online is still there as a really good supplement. Beyond that, this also adds value to product coming out around that time. Because understand, if a set drops outside of a competitive season and that set maybe makes a really cool meta, who cares? <laughs> why would you test for it? And why would you, you know, go really hardcore for it if you know there's not gonna be an important tournament anyway? Now, of course, you can play with the cards for fun and we all will, but it's always cool to have some competitive incentive in there regardless. So for example, set five maybe drops after our Springfest, or maybe there's a set six that drops after our Springfest, I don't know. But it's still too early for BCS, and maybe in a BCS you'll have set seven already, then that's basically a whole format that we never really saw what the meta was beyond you know your locals results so having something to bridge that gap makes it even better and it might even stimulate sales again trying to think from the company's perspective they're like well we want to we want to sell sets right so having actual events for every single set would be pretty cool so yeah that's it tldr make your format schedule depend on the location france in my opinion deserves premium separate uk deserves premium separate. Spain, in my opinion, probably shouldn't have premium separate because I have doubts about its ability to fire, though I would love if it does. I also saw other places on BCSs, by the way, but I haven't been there, so I can't give my opinion on that. You know, I, I've never been to a BCS Greece. I don't think Greece is actually on it. Was it Bulgaria or Hungary that was also listed? I'm sorry, I'm blanking right now, but I haven't been to those countries, so I can't really give my opinion there. Making it depend on the location is definitely the move and definitely add that remote fight supplement again right after your season. Hope you found it interesting. Again, don't necessarily go, you know, barraging people over this or anything like that. I'm assuming this video will be seen regardless. I wanted to add some more constructive feedback as well beyond just, oh my god, why? I will see you soon. Ciao.